Hello and welcome back. This is Excel Video 97. We're going to take a break from offset and some of the really fancy things we were doing. Come back to a basic chart. I've got a new patients by year by clinic location for four different locations here and I know the number of new patients. We're going to click any place in there and we're going to insert. Ah, oh, let's just do a column chart and make life easy and we'll do these cylinders. That ah, took a second, but we're back. Maybe if we drag it, maybe just a little bit over here and maybe make it just a little bit smaller so you can see it. You know what I want to do is make, yeah, let's, how about if I put it up here? Because I want you to see, the first trick I want to show you today is, look how I've got years, 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and when I try to chart that, Look what happens with uh, the year. It has to throw a year, and look, I got 733 patients in the north and 2,006 patients in the year and 2,007 patients in the year. They're all right up there. It's all screwed up. So you could go in and fix it, but the shortcut is if we go in, let's just, you know what, let's just undo and get rid of this thing. There we go. If you take the word year away, so there's no heading here, and I'm going to do the very same thing. Click any place in here. We're going to go insert. Let's do a column. Let's do a cylinder. Now what I've got, now we'll shrink this up now that I have more or less what I want. Yeah, not too much higher. Just like that. Notice how I have 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10 here. I don't have year up here. When Excel sees a title up here and numbers, it sees a title up here and numbers and it thinks, man, that's more data. No, 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 that's not more data. That's years. So rather than put the word year here, I'm going to define my chart without the word year there. I can add it now and it won't screw me up. But if you click any place and have year there, it's going to screw you up. And you could always go in and fix it, but it's easier just not to have it there in the first place. Second thing I want to show you today is how to get rid of, let's say we wanted to get rid of a, uh, a series. Let's say, you know what, 2006 has kind of been here, you know, plenty long. Um, I just want to show 7, 8, 9, and 10. I want to have a bigger graph because I'm not going to make my chart any bigger than this. Well, what we can do is we can click here, and what we can do is we're going to go over here to the corner. We're going to say, nope, I only want 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I can see I just dragged the range. Now I've got 2008, 9, and 10, and I can put it back like that or back like that, and it will do it for me. Let's pull it back here. The other thing is, you know, I don't want central for whatever reason. Central's... I'm just not plain don't want to include it. I can go like that, and now I don't include uh, central anymore. Now I've just got north, east, and west. So you can drag and do this. The other thing I want to spend just a minute with is if we click inside the chart. Yeah, my chart's back to where I was. I'm going to go to design and select data, and let's just move it over here. And what I can do from here is I can go in and say, no, I don't want the central, and I can click remove. And now central is still in my chart, or excuse me, in my numbers. In, in, it's still certainly part of my spreadsheet. It's just not part of this chart anymore. I've got north, east, and west. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the row and column. And I'm going to say, now what I really want is I want to get rid of 2006. And I can easily do that. And now I'm going to switch them back because that's kind of the way. Oh, let's just click OK, and that's kind of the way I like. And I've got 2007, 8, 9, and 10, and north, east, and west there. That's what I wanted to show you this time. The trick about taking year off of numbers so that doesn't screw you up and make it look screwy. And I wanted to show you a couple of different ways to uh, move data, uh, increase and decrease, modify the, the data that's on your chart. The last thing I want to show you while, you know, while we're in here, let me just show you one more thing. Let's assume, let's click over here and let's go to, uh, let's design and switch this and Let's assume that I want to take 2007 off this chart too. See, so yeah, the red cylinder is 2007. I click that and I've got all three highlighted. If I just hit the delete button, I can do that too. And it, it does the same thing as changing my range over here. I can easily, we'll take 2008 off of there too just by hitting delete. One more way to get uh, data on and off your chart um, and modify what's there. And again, you want to put it back. There you go. A couple of tricks to move stuff on and off your chart. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, next time what I want to do is, I want to show you if we switch wrong column, north, east, west, and south. What if you want central at the top? Is there an easy way to do that besides go back in and change your data around and move central's data over here and then rechart it? Yeah, there is, and I'll show it to you next time. Thanks for watching.